Here we have one of our most requested tutorials and that is a banner marquee. Um, this this part only uses show it transitions so it's not coded um, so you will have to keep in mind that it will eventually time out um, and it utilizes a show it text box and element slide transition so as we're talking you can kind of see it start to slow down because i only have 60 seconds on it and i have duplicated the you know the banner text quite a few times but it will eventually time out so this is one popular way to kind of like avoid coded areas but also give you the same kind of effect so let's go ahead and see how it's built so right here we have our transition marquee and this is the show it text and here is your transition it kind of utilizes a large uh, width with a lot of duplicated text and um, it's clipped so let's go ahead and start building it so we're gonna go ahead and create a blank canvas and because this is a banner we are gonna do it at the top now this could be anything from um, get our newest product and you know kind of anything Okay, so I have my size. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add a um, text box. This is something um, that takes a little bit of practice just because when you're copying pasting, sometimes it does not paste, um, you know, your spacing correctly, your product. So I'm going to add a few spaces. Let's go ahead and add a button. Okay. So now that I have kind of my text that I want shown, what I'm going to do now is um, kind of duplicate this, but also make sure my styling is kind of how I want it. So that way when I'm duplicating it and I can kind of see, okay, this is how much room I still have to fill. So what I like to do is I like to clip it to the side so that way when I'm copying and pasting it, I can constantly see um, the area I'm working in just because this is going to be quite large. Um, let's go ahead and style it a little bit more. Okay, so I like that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of um, set up the actual um, the styling of the transition so I know that this is going to have to be really big because if their screen is you know if they're on a Big Mac and you know they have a lot of space that is spanning from side to side you're gonna be able to tell that it is kind of clipped somewhere even if you have horizontal locking on so what I want to do is I want to make this size um, quite large. So I'm going to go ahead and go, you know, 4,200. Okay. I'm going to center that. And now what I want to do, since it's centered at 4,200, I am going to grab my text element and just kind of drag it over until I see that back end. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure it kind of, um, pops off the side a little bit. But before I do that, um, I'm going to want to copy and paste this text because once we have this all copied and pasted, we're going to set this to a crop. So it kind of like breaks off anything that's hanging out um, that we don't want to see. So let's go ahead and copy it and then paste it in here and kind of I like to adjust the spacing as I go just because like I said, um, sometimes it doesn't always paste space styling correctly and you'll be able to see it once it's transitioning so you're going to want to kind of paste this quite a few times so if you're using this for a template purpose definitely keep in mind of what you're pasting in here um, because they will have to go in and tweak it and copy and paste it over and over and over and sometimes like this can get really frustrating if you're just sitting here okay so now you've noticed that my text is bumped off and what I want to do 
is I'm just going to drag it until everything clips back in, even if you have to readjust it this way. Okay, I like that. So now what I want to do is I want to set my textile to crop. So this, even if it's, you know, a little bit smaller and it's clipping things off, it will not show when their banner transitions in like it would over here. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to make sure it's center aligned. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to horizontal lock it. So I want it to kind of pop off, pop off the side a little bit so that way, you know, there's no gap when it clips and it's done transitioning. Okay, so let's go ahead and preview it and see kind of how it looks now. So that's going to be what it looks like when it's kind of like transitioning in. Um, and you can also choose to now copy the style and paste it over here because we are not going to be setting a transition on our mobile. Um, what I like to do is I kind of just like to make sure that it's legible um, and they can kind of get the idea that it looks like a little bit of a banner marquee over here. Um, so something like that. Okay, so now what you want to do is you'll want to select the desktop version and we're going to set a transition on it. So we know that we want it to slide. It's going to be sliding to the right. So we want to slide and we want this to be set um, at a very long time distance. So that way, um, if it, you know, if they're at 0.5, let me set a direction for this. Preview it. You know, it slides in pretty fast. Um, so because our text right here is clipped to the right, what I want to do is I want to set up my slide in from the right. So now if it's sliding in, it's clipped that way. <clears throat> you can kind of see, you know, it was doing what it was supposed to do, but it's way too fast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 60 or 70. Um, or even if you want to do it really slow, it could be 120 for two minutes. But this is going to take one whole minute for my banner to slide in now. And because we didn't copy and paste the style after the fact, um, we don't have the transition on the mobile. So it's just going to kind of look like this. It's going to look like a little fake banner, but we don't have that transition. 